I knew from a very young age, maybe like four years old, five years old, that I wanted to sing and dance and act like I knew that. And then as I got older and into my preteen and teenage years, I had a love of performing. And by the time I was supposed to go into college, I told my mom and dad that I was gonna not go to college and pursue show business. And being in the Bronx, that didn't go over very well because we knew nobody in the business. We had no connections. And so it was a very far-fetched dream for them. And they were really worried, like, what is our daughter gonna do? And where is this gonna lead her? And at the end of the day, I just had to kind of go off on my own and do it. I always wanted to sing, dance, and act. That was always part of the plan. There was never a moment where I was just gonna be a dancer. I just wanted to do it all. Not wanting to be in a box ever. And so they said, this is gonna be a big movie. You should audition for this. They did this big casting through Chicago, Mexico City, LA, all over to find somebody to play Selena. And I got the part. Right at the beginning of my career, when I was acting and it was going so well, I had done Out of Sight, I had done Selena, I had done movies with Jack Nicholson and Francis Ford Coppola, and I, I was just rolling as an actress. And then I told my manager at the time that I wanted to make a record. And he was like, are you kidding me? You're like one of the up and coming actresses in Hollywood right now. Like, why would you do that? And I was like, because that's part of who I am. Nobody could tell me that I wasn't gonna do that. I knew I was gonna be a recording artist. I was gonna make music and I was gonna sing and dance on stage all over the world. That's what it was gonna be. Once you're in the public eye and they can kind of take shots at you, then people start trying to tear you down. And go, well, she really can't sing and she really can't act and she really wasn't that good in that or, you know, and they just obliterate you. It's just hard. There's a lot going on, a lot of people around all the time, and they all have something to say about you. Jennifer Lopez! Jennifer Lopez. J Lo's high profile engagement to leading man Ben Affleck only added to the public interest for details of her private life. I remember being on the cover of those tabloids for two years straight, and it was brutal. You don't bargain for that side of it, but like I say, you learn how to deal with it. I think it, it absolutely contributed to the demise of our relationship and the love that we had. It was just, it was, there was so much judgment and pressure and scrutiny and opinions, and it was just a really, really hard thing to deal with. Jennifer's wedding plans were called off, and although it was a tough breakup, J-Lo gained strength in the lessons she learned such a learning and growing experience. I'm kind of glad that I went through it. You're not quite the same person you were before. You gotta tap into the positive voice and go, wait a minute, I'm here for a reason. I have worth, I have value, I belong here. And then it's like the second act.